Hey guys, Karaxib here with another review. This time I'll be reading the Deluxe Dragon Fruit Energy Lock Seed from Kamen Rider Kamen Rider Drive and Gaim Movie War Full Throttle. This is a web exclusive Lock Seed that, in the movie, lets Kamen Rider Duke transform into Dragon Energy Arms. And so included is just the Lock Seed itself. Let's take a look. So, starting off, the first thing you'll notice is that unlike all other Energy Lock Seeds, instead of being cast in clear blue plastic, it's cast in clear red. And also helps you notice something that was also present on the normal energy lock seeds, but was less noticeable, which is that they actually used two different shades of plastic. For regular energy lock seeds, there's a more saturated shade of clear blue for the hinge and button, and then a lighter shade or less saturated color for the body, and the same thing here. More saturated clear red for the lock hanger and open button. And a less saturated plastic color for the rest of the body. And like usual, the body is injected with glitter into the mold. Looking at the front, you can see the design of the kind of metal or mechanical dragon fruit. It is painted in metallic red and metallic gold for the trim, then black for the background part. It's labeled as ELS Hex. And see that it uses clear plastic parts. This is basically uh, reusing the parts from the Peach Energy Lock Seed. as it opens up by splitting open sideways from the top as I can show you by pushing the bottom on the back then you'll see the inside of the dragon fruit with a different shape for the outline then the inner flesh and the seeds next we can switch it on you'll get the standard activation sensor for energy lock seeds Pressing the button on the back instead of the standard four sounds for energy lock seeds will give you uh, six phrases from Ryoma Sengoku, who transforms into Kamen Duke. And uh, I will put uh, annotations for translations to the phrases in the video. Now there is also a 7th sound that I'll play at random. So let's try to activate that. There's the random sound. That seems to usually play as a replacement for the 6th sound. And you also have the unlocking sound. Just like that. Opening this up, you'll see that it has a white light. And so, of course, to transform, we'll bring in the Genesis driver. So set on, lock on, and activate. And so there you have the transformation for Kamen Rider Duke Dragon Energy Arms. You also have heard that for the explanation of Soda, it was a more pronounced, more excited version, and it uses a rainbow light. That is one of two as of uh, 
Well, as of as of previously, or up to this point, unused patterns for the switches in the back that indicate the colors. So then we can get the first attack, the squash. Now, though it says Dragon Energy Arms does use Dragon Fruit Energy for the squash and sparking attacks. Then we'll do the sparking. Let's remove it. with the sonic arrow and the basic attack Then we'll close it up and take it off. And as this is still an energy lock seed, this can be used for a Genma combination by using the Genesis Core and Sengoku Driver. So in this case, I'll choose to use it with the Blood Orange lock seed. Which I find appropriate since both of these are used for movie villain writers. As you can see, it does indeed use the mix and Jinba Dragon Fruits, or Jinba Dragon Fruit sounds, or it has sounds for those. And then we can take it off. Now of note is that this is also a lock seed that was, while well, movie exclusive, also reused. Well, this wasn't initially used media-wise in Movie War Full Thrall. Timeline-wise, it was later retconned into being used in Conrad Gaim Gaiden, or Gaim Gaiden Conrad Baron by Conrad Tyrant. Though in that case, it was labeled as ELS Proto, so this is the uh, Movie War Full Thrall version being ELS Hex. And there's one more thing. Since this may or may not be used, I'm just going to show off that there is one more light combination in the Genesis driver, which is used by holding down these two uh, pins and 
the lock on switch. That's a regular green light. That is a green light. Just like that. And so that may just be the last lock state that I ever review. Now I say this tentatively, as there were two lock seeds released for uh, the first Gaim Gaiden, which were the uh, Forbidden Ringo lock seed and Watermelon lock seed. I personally not chosen to get either of those because they are most are essentially just repaints of past lock seeds with new sounds. However, there was recently announced a second game guide for Kamen Rider Knuckle and Kamen Rider Duke, or Kamen Rider Duke and Kamen Rider Knuckle, whichever order they choose to package that in. And it is likely that there are going to be lock seeds released for that. So, this is tentatively my last lock seed review. Now, this was also, and this is also not the only other energy lock seed. Besides the four shown in the series, there was also the ELS-05 Matsubokuri Energy Lock Seed, which was also web exclusive and released to tie in to the Gaim Summer movie. Though because that wasn't used much, and because it was used for Kurokage Shin, who was basically just Kurokage with a Genesis driver and a, new we and a slightly new weapon, I chose not to pick it up. And so it was interesting coming back to lock seeds, and honestly, collecting lock seeds and energy lock seeds was quite fun. I mean, there are certainly a lot more out there that I don't have, like all different rider lock seeds, from the Canyon Toy to the Gadgetpon, as well as some more web exclusive stuff. But for me, I kind of decided to stick with what I felt was essential, that being stuff that was in the show, and you no, know, just this as. For now, my one web exclusive one, just because it activated a new set of uh, lights and sounds in the Genesis driver that you couldn't access previously without holding down the buttons yourself. But as far as this goes, I think it's a very nice energy lock seed. I really like the design. I like that for this one they switch out the clear re blue parts for clear red parts, and the overall all design is also very cool. It's nice to finally get that rainbow light pattern in the Genesis driver. And it does kind of add a little bit more of an oomph to all the sounds the energy lock seeds make. And of course, it is also cool that besides having your standard stuff like wearing the Genesis driver and the Sonic Arrow, it also has Jinba features or Jinba sounds. That's definitely neat. So I'd say, you know, if this seems like a cool lock seed to you, and you have either the Genesis driver, the uh, Sengoku driver, or both, as of course, this does have the switch in the back that you can use to activate this with the Sengoku driver. I definitely say to pick it up. This is definitely a very cool lock seed. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check my channel for more videos, as well as my Facebook page. And for now, this is Carex50, riding off.